Our climate is changing. Floods, wildfires, droughts, storms or heat waves are simply a few implications of the unfolding climate change with serious consequences for humans and nature. Headlines about extreme weather events have become a part of our everyday life. Humans have always been utilizing climate information to adapt their lives to a changing environment. But in light of the current increase in extreme weather events, accurate and reliable predictions of future climate conditions become more important than ever before. The good news is, recent developments in climate modeling provided by the Fourth Industrial Revolution are enabling us to produce more reliable and accurate predictions. Now is the time for our engineers to use this new class of information to develop the appropriate adaptation strategies. The greatest inventions have always been born in times of great threats and crisis. So our engineers must embrace the opportunity and transform processes, devices and materials to ensure resilience under a changing climate. No matter how much the climate information is accurate and detailed, it will be of little value if it is not utilized by the engineers who are at the forefront of developing functioning solutions for real-world technical challenges. This necessitates training of a new generation of engineers who are informed by the climate data, which highlights the importance of the climate-informed engineering as an emerging interdisciplinary field in the 21st century. Climate-informed engineering contributes to our Hamburg University of Technology's study growth plan on engineering to face climate change. We recognize the vital role of engineering science in developing novel solutions to mitigate and adapt to the projected climate changes. Here at Hamburg University of Technology, we strive to develop innovative technologies for humanity against the adverse impacts of climate change. We aim to do this on both teaching and research level, for example, by integrating basic climate science and information in our engineering education, and by developing platforms where engineers from different backgrounds and climate scientists could exchange ideas and tools. This initiative will enable us to capitalize on our strength in engineering science and technology and train a new generation of engineers and scientists who will be at, able to serve at the forefront of the global efforts to fight the climate change. Actually, a wide range of activities is planned within this research initiative, including the development of new courses on basic climate science and data, coordination of annual meeting as an exchange platform between politicians, experts from industry, academics, as well as the general public, and defining various research projects on topic related to climate-informed engineering. Another activity is the foundation of a field-scale mini-living lab, which can be used in both teaching and research activities to integrate climate science and engineering to teach and extend the understanding required to describe a wide range of environmental and engineering challenges related to soil, water, climate, energy, and sustainable resource management. Here we see tremendous potentials to use this mini living lab as a vehicle to involve the general public in our research activities. This will help to foster interest in engineering science and technology and raise awareness regarding the central role of technology in ensuring sustainable future and building resilience to climate impacts. In Europe, as part of the European Union's green transition, investments are being made to develop a new generation of climate models. By exploiting exascale computing capabilities, these models will be able to represent important climate processes with a physical fidelity that we could only dream of in the past. At the same time, these models will allow us to explore extreme weather events 
and their interaction with built infrastructure, agriculture, and the natural environment globally. By training a new generation of engineers to critically assess these new information sources, we will increase the resilience of society to the changes that lie in store. Algorithms doesn't mean that we understand better. That's something we got to work on because the process of turning data into wisdom is a complicated process and might be even complex process. And unless we take action on that and we spend time and resources as you, you know, the, your university is going to do, um, we cannot really generate the wisdom we need. And if we don't do that, conspiracy theories would win and, and, and are the fools who, who Win, win this battle. So that is why we, we need things all like climate informed engineering and, and that is why I like to remind us that our power when it comes to solving problem um, you know, can be much greater than the, the uh, sum of, our, of the parts, which is us. The same is true about problems that we are dealing with. They're, they're much bigger than the sum of their parts. But, but Germany has, has done big things in the past. And, and has been a role model for the world. So I hope, um, you know, in, in the, I wish you success uh, in this new program that I'm also a founding member of. Um, and the world is also watching you. In, in the world. A climate informed engineer of the future would be able to design and develop more resilient products for difficult times to protect people, businesses, and ecosystem against floods, droughts, wildfires, heat waves, and the sea level rise. This motivated the foundation of the new research initiative on climate informed engineering at Hamburg University of Technology, which serves as a platform to foster collaborations between engineers and climate scientists and to train a new generation of engineers for a world under a changing climate.